Warning. This show contains naughty language, adult themes, and may contain mentions of... <laughs> Listener discretion is advised. The church is not affiliated with or endorses this show in any way. Every yeah, male like growing up in America has Googled midget porn. Literally, we live here. Do you want trash in your house? No. Literally? Yeah, you're a dick. Don't literally me. Literally? Because literally, that is bullshit. Dude, literally. you literally just literally them. Literally. Did I literally just literally you? Literally. Literally. literally called out literally. literally me literally, literally you. It was like a pun. It's not what a pun is. No, it was literally a pun. Yeah. Oh, that is literally not what a pun is. Literally did that. You were literally... <laughs> literally, could it have been right? <laughs> it literally could. This is why I love these guys. Do you literally love us? Do you literally love us? <laughs> <laughs> like, did someone write it down? I literally hate these guys right now. Oh, <laughs> I literally, literally spelling. Alright, so welcome to <laughs> to, to oh, Monkey no, Boy. No, <laughs> no, we can't have that. You know Who that wants was... a Pepsi? Not that kid from that video. <laughs> welcome to Monkey what? Goo and Other Delights. I am Trevor Heasley. With me is Sean Larson. And Matt Bourgeois. Actually, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit smoking pretty soon. Quit smoking. I mean, oh, you, you don't. You don't. Cigarettes. You don't smoke weed, do you? I don't. I only smoke wow, weed once in a great while. <laughs> I rarely smoke weed. And the thing is, like, I'd rather smoke it when I'm home. The thing is, I'm not home. And if I do do it, it's when I am just in that aspect of going like, you know what, I want to go to bed. But the best part is, <coughs> it's a catch-22. Sometimes I literally fall asleep, but sometimes I go, what can I put on right now on Netflix? And then I'm awake <laughs> for like four or five hours going, hee hee hee, this is awesome. And then I eat the house out of every food item. <laughs> so I try not to smoke weed. If I smoke weed, I'd eat Carl's Jr. Eat out like of house eight. and home. And yeah. then I'll get home and I'll make like eight quesadillas with God knows what. And then I wake up in the morning going, why did I put hot sauce on everything? Because why it's delicious. It? And, and then it's I wake awesome. up in the bathroom going, why did I put hot sauce on everything? Oh, Not a good idea. Yeah, that next day after a hot sauce bender, you taste it twice. That is a oh. very uncomfortable. The even anus has taste buds and they are all does. spicy. Yeah. They're all spicy receptors. I look at myself and go, why did I put hot sauce in my milk? I have no idea. I just did that because I was fucking retarded. And I own the retardedness. Why did you put hot sauce uh, in your milk, dude? I, don't know I like kind of wanted to question that. You could just write it off with "I definitely was well, retarded." The hot sauce was. You're not me. retarded, hold on. So you're not I retarded. Milk. So you put hot sauce into the milk? Well, because was I was good? drinking the milk to cover the hot sauce, but then I wanted more hot you're sauce. You're a fucking idiot. So I put hot sauce in the milk. It made no sense. You're a fucking I am. moron. And I cried a whole lot in the bathroom for probably about a You're, good I've lost respect minutes. for you completely. Yeah, it was weird. And I'm glad there was you no You said, one near my me. mouth burns from hot sauce. Yeah. I'm going to drink milk. Wait, I'm going to pour some hot sauce in it first. You're what Thanos was aiming for. I don't for. believe yeah. that you did that. I think... I did pour I hot did, sauce man. in my milk. That happened. How was it? To neutralize the... Wait, were you that drunk? I was shit-faced. Oh, never mind. Right, right, right. That, that might thinking, be believable. Yeah, I was shit-faced right, beyond right, belief. Right. And I'm like, this needs to be spicy. And I got up out of the bathroom, grabbed the tapatio, threw it in the milk, went back to the bathroom. I thought you were telling another story. drank that, and I felt retarded. And the following morning, yeah, not a good idea. I was at McDonald's the other day ed editing one of these shows, which means I have to sit at a cer certain table right in the middle of the restaurant where the uh, power plug is because my computer has like five minutes worth of battery. It was lunchtime and the uh, the uh, high school crowd got out. And now there's all these 
fucking millennials, right? Like all around me. Like I am, I'm the oldest one there. Very out of place, right? Like they were very comfortable in their uh, speech. The bravery of this drug dealer, I don't want to say drug dealer, but like weed dealer, you know, just announcing to everybody that he's got 10 bags, five bags, you know, he, he can do like, you know, three for 10. I'm just like, oh my God, dude. Like I almost wanted to, like, I, I didn't have weed at the time. And like, I, I kind of almost wanted to be like, I want one, but like, I never would do it because like, he's way too young, right? That this kid was like <laughs> 15. So it would, it would have been, been wrong. But one thing I noticed and like the, the whole like brazen weed thing, every table when they got up, they just got up and left, left all the fucking trash, left, left their cups. Like a few of them went, went to Wingstop, got food and just left all their Wingstop, you know, trash out there. Taco Bell trash. Like, is, is that a millennial thing or am I the only person who cleans up after themselves anymore as far as like McDonald's? I don't feel like it's just a millennial thing. I think it's just a, it's a general degradation thing. They just sort of people have abandoned it. They're like, someone else will take care of it. Fuck it. This is not my job. We're also downtrodden. We don't help each other on a natural basis. We're not just like, hey, man, think about the other guy. Maybe I should put this away. Maybe I should da, da, da. Maybe I should hold the door open. We're also hungry and fucking freaked out that we're becoming assholes to each other. Like, <laughs> All I got to say is, like, I mean, I, I'll pick up everything. Like, with uh, when I take the kids over to McDonald's. I make sure, even if they drop something on the floor, I'm like, hey, grab that, it, let's put it you away. Leave it, you leave your area it, spotless. I do. I'll wipe it down. Even when I get to the table, I wipe it down. I don't go that far, but I if do. I don't leave a tip, I clean up the area. If I leave a tip, you take care of it. Well, no, th there's another thing about that. Like, even when I'm leaving a tip. Like, I mean, even do, if I'm do, in a restaurant. Do you restaurant, tip at McDonald's? Like, am, I don't. Uh, right, well, right, so I'm not, not going to tip only one. at McDonald's right. because I don't. But they, they actually like, bring the food it, to your table now. A, they bring that, the food to your table, yeah. doing basically what a waiter would do. The only thing they don't do no, is to come back I, and refill your drinks. Well, I stand always in front and grab the food. There are some times where I'll take the kids to the back area, which is the little, like, fun time for them to go run around their little playground thing here in Burbank. But at the same time, I'm like, I clean up everything. Like, I'll pick up everything. And I go, you know what? That's just common courtesy. Correct. And with, with fast food, restaurants have not really become the f restaurant that we know of. Like, if I go to Denny's, of course, I expect, like, everything Denny's is good. Right but I go to, like, Denny's is quick. Denny's why. has everything. Denny's is awesome. But what I look at is, like, well, that's what you're doing. So, of course, I do it. Of course, I'm, like, I leave the tip. I make sure everything is all good. I'm one of those people who's, like, fuck no. Let's leave the tip. Like, let's go. But what I look at, like, McDonald's, like, I see the guys and I'm, like, I've seen them so many times, but I'm just like, your <laughs> restaurant needs to change in a way because fast food and restaurants have been a separate market. They are. And it no. sucks. It's just like McDonald's is trying to open up this whole thing to like move people around. It's like, why am I going to push buttons to order food? I don't do the self serve at McDonald's. I go straight up to the counter. I was like, that's like, yeah. like why am I going to do like your the shit? I want to talk to somebody. Like, yeah. I fuck it up every time. It takes me more time you to, like, fuck it up, and then know, someone has to the come over and correct it. The more we automate things, the, more, the less people do, the more machines do, the more we're letting machines. Why are we afraid of, like, Terminator movies? Why are we afraid of The Matrix? Because we're, we're allowing machines to take over the shit we can do ourselves. Yeah. So we're slowly making them better and better at doing the shit we can do ourselves. We need to work. We need to do things. We need to be. We need to be the computer. We I'm need to be the collective consciousness that is the computer. Like, we don't I, need the computer to do shit I for us. I love Pixar. I love Pixar because I love. They were. There was the movie with the big spacecraft and all the humans are sitting on it. I forgot the name of the goddamn movie. Uh, were they all I fat? It was. Was it Wally? Was uh, Willy. Wally. Uh, Wally. Okay, Wally. Yeah. Now all the humans are literally sitting there. Fat, useless pieces of shit. Fat, useless pieces of shit. Just like <laughs> don't do anything. And it was like, 
Wally. Press a button to get the thing awesome. you want. Like, Wally did stuff, man. Saved. He lived. Wally fucking lived. Yeah. But well, were the little fat humans on the spaceship happy? What I loved was the captain just goes. You they know were happy. They never touched each other. They never talked to each other. Yeah. But no were they talked. happy? They just but were they given a up. screen. They were never they, given the option of happiness. They were given screens instead. Yeah, but they got up. <laughs> Maybe we could have been happy without a screen. Did the screens they make had, us unhappy. They had the worst. We used them to shield ourselves. I get unhappy the when I'm not in front of a screen. The worst thing to happen to them. I'd to love to go to space everything. and be, be they fat. They like to do things in front of screens. And Those you know what, don't honestly, like, do like we're coming down to a way to where we're getting lazier and lazier. But I'll walk down the street and I see something that doesn't look right. I'll see a bunch of trash on the floor. You're smart. I pick it up. Fucked up. I'll pick it up and throw it in the trash can that's two feet away from me. Well, not like pick things do away it the trash can, does Because it? there were oh, some I'm, kids who decided you know, to park right next to the area fucking nice. block and then drop their trash out. I'm like, you fucking pieces of shit. Or even it wasn't kids. It could have been adults. I'm like, really? Yeah, like, I, I've, I've seen people just walking down the street, just taking trash and like throwing it into bushes. And I mean, I did it when I was younger, I, I guess a little bit, but not not like it. Like everybody's doing it now. It, it's weird. Why? Like, why would we do that? Like, why do we want to fuck this shit up? Like, literally, we live here. Do you want trash in your house? No. Literally. Yeah, you're a dick. Don't literally me. Literally? Because literally, that is bullshit. Dude, literally. you literally just literally them. Literally. Did I literally just literally you? Literally. Literally. literally called out literally. literally me literally, literally. you. <laughs> you get you that? Did it. You get that, kids? It was like a pun. It's not what a pun is. No, it was literally a pun. Yeah. Oh, that is literally not what a pun is. Oh, you literally did that. You were literally... Saying what you just said. Dude, seriously? Literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally, that was wrong. Literally? Could it have been right? It literally could. This is why I love these guys. Because we can because all we say hold the on. word and Sean, we know what's up. Do you literally love us? Do you literally love us? <laughs> <laughs> like, did someone write it down? I literally hate these guys right now. Oh, <laughs> I literally, literally... Spelling. But I thought you literally <laughs> loved us. <laughs> Can you spell literally? Nope. I got this. L I T T E R L Y. Oh, I think I got it wrong. Alright, so, <laughs> so, so I didn't pay attention. Literally! <laughs> spelling me champion! I didn't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't right. pay attention. I'm not sure at this. It's gotta be one of the weirdest episodes we've ever Welcome had. to uh, Monkey Goo and other oh, weird ass delights. Why weird obscure. Right. I'm yeah. gonna call it obscure delights. Coming up later, we we have Jam Pammy and Jay. <laughs> Jamie and Pay. You and gotta Pei. keep this in. Jamie right. and Pay. Really do Jamie and Pay. Coming up later, we we do have Pammy and Jay. They'll be here like they'll be here in a little while. All right, All right what were you saying again? Say it three times fast. <laughs> I just keep Jimmy and Pay, Jimmy and Pay, Jimmy and Pay. Oh fuck, I got it backwards again. <laughs> Damn dyslexia. I'm Darn not gonna dyslexia. try to get that back. I'm gonna be careful every time I say. Oh, I say that now. <laughs> that was awesome, man. <laughs> All right, kiddos. All right. And Hold on, because we're, we're, a, we're a backyard show, we do have a, a, a helicopter flying overhead. Yep. Get a bird! Yeah. Alright. That's such a convincing, we're actually in a sound studio, and that's such a convincing sound that we just looped in. Yeah, yeah we're we professionals that. like that. We, we just tell awesome. people we're that's in the, in the backyard, this is a conspiracy, and, and we're not we're really in a backyard. True. We're in a professional studio right now, we, we degrade the sound to sound like we're in a backyard. Yeah, and then we, and then we yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. please, like, we make ourselves sound natural. You know, it's, it's all a marketing ploy. By the same guy who made the Backstreet Boys. I'm trying to start a conspiracy. I'm going to be honest. Uh, maybe they'll redact this later, maybe they won't. Oh shit, gonna, that's our I'm backing? Be honest, is that You're maybe fucking him. That the Backstreet guys, the Backstreet Boys, made it like 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 somehow. Is that dude who made them still alive? I don't remember what That's I started talking about. Theory. I signed my contract with Suge Knight. I, I don't know who 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 Shug you're. Suge Knight's dead, basically. Well, his well, career is. Well, and his well item, according to That's the conspiracy. He's close to it. I is, mean, he goes he to dead? L.A. Wait, USC. I don't. 
He goes to UFC he medical and anytime he needs attention. Well, then why'd you say he's dead? Well, I uh, Is there a conspiracy that says he's dead? Because someone Man. said he died, and I'm just wondering. Eventually. I mean. Runs out of fucking stories to tell, so they just make other things going. And yeah. I believe them all. They just make other things going. That'd be awesome if, like, like someone. I mean, you gotta become famous first. Can you imagine I mean, becoming so do. famous that there's yeah, a death hoax going. about you? I'm going. Well, like, that'd be kind of awesome. I'm awesome. Like, I'm great. It's awesome. So, yep, yeah, I'm awesome. You really know you you made it in the entertainment in- industry when TMZ reports a death hoax about you. When someone cares so much to to do a death hoax. Yeah, I, I can see that. Like TMZ is like, holy shit, somebody fucking made you seem dead. You were important just enough, just enough. People would know who you are. Like seven people would be like, what the fuck happened to that guy? Right. But, you know, relatively soon, yeah. It's weird, though. It's like, okay, like, I remember, like, people from the 80s. Like, I watched shows with uh, my mom. And it was just like, I saw, like, an actor who had died that I'd watch shows with my mom during her lucid times, and I loved it. And then it was like, they're dead, and I'm just like, I'm literally, probably, literally, shut up. Literally. Uh, literally, you want to shut up? Feel like, like, I will I'm literally shut up for the rest of this show. I will literally not talk anymore. There you literally go. All right, we're literally going to shut up. I open that literally. floodgate. I open the floodgate. Literally. I'm, I'm 35, <laughs> and I see, like, someone who had passed away of a show that I had seen a bunch of times. And I thought about it. I was like, wow, this is a show I'd watch with my mom. And I'm like, holy crap. And this was a person, like, on the show, they were a badass. They were great. All these things. And I'm like, I don't know this person. But, like, I kind of feel sad about the fact that they are dead. They haven't been on TV in God knows how long, but I have no idea what their life was. I don't know anything, but I felt sad about it because... You saw them? Oh, my God. No, sure. I saw them in do their you know. acting skill, and Their acting skill, 5,000. I feel that way when I watch The Wizard of Oz. Like, I is, saw them do their acting skills. Is there anybody skills. alive who was in that movie? Is there anybody from that movie still alive? I mean, we all know who Bridget is. Well, well, most of our Bridget? listeners are going to be familiar with Bridget. Bridget I mean, Bridget? most no, most no. people have mo- most well, dudes at one like, point in their no life do type midget porn into their computer. Listen to us, because I don't know yet. Who, I Bridget like, the midget. Thirty-five will know what Bridget the midget is. Twenty-nine might even know. But I'm telling every you, like, male growing up in America has googled midget porn, and the moment you Google midget porn, yeah. everybody's going to do it. I don't know midget porn. His. And Bridget the Matt, Midget's gonna, gonna come up. I looked at Bambi T-Porn once, just yeah, for fun. Yeah, Matt did I, th- I wasn't the one who jerked off to it. I wanted and to see... And he shared it with me. And I, I didn't want to jerk off to it. I wanted to see if it was a thing. I have and done did, educational research into <laughs> some of that material as well. Some girl lubed up her leg and shoved it in another girl, and I watched yeah. the pornos. And then I also <laughs> saw this site called e where there was a bear... I came. <laughs> they got shot out of that. Yeah, the bear I video was weird, too. The bear. What? There's a bear video? No. Like, they hunted a bear, they shot they it, and they fucked the... onto the bear. That's gotta be fake. No, it's not. No, no. No, Wait, no, they fucked, they on, fucked the on the bear. They fucked on the bear or fucked the bear? On the bear. No, oh, on okay. the bear. They used oh, the bear well, as a bench to that, bang. That's a bing bench. That's slight, the bear slight, is a bing bench. Look that's up. slightly less acceptable. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> right? They used a dead bear. Sc- it was a baby bear, too. They shot it out of the top of the fucking tree, and it hit every branch on the way down. Then they fucked on top of it, and their dogs ripped it apart in the front. I hope each one of them get hit by a car. On the I hope everybody it was starring and involved I've ever in seen that it. video it was so get funny. hit by a car. It was I so funny. I pretty much came a lot of times. <laughs> it was. I I'm didn't come, but about that's that hilarious. Anymore. It was so not right. That's so many different not right things all at once, and I'm like, it really happened. Holy yeah. shit! It's no, gotta that be was, fake. No, it's not, dude. I mean, oh, no. Dude, this was done back in like 2003. Pe- people now like getting like pictures like in Africa after they, they like, kill a rhino, point. like next to the rhino, get like boycotted from the internet and harassed. And, hold like, on, hold they're not I banging mean, the rhino. Right. That's the problem. That's even worse. Like, um, the, the, if well, they man, were was banging real, the rhino, too much we're going to pause backlash. this show okay. right here. And, no, we're going to keep going though. Okay. But, uh, but, and you'll loop this in later. But I want you to loop this in after I propose this. Um, I'm going to... Sh- I'm gonna show you that that fucking no 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 no. I really don't want to see a a, a dead bear. E F. We are we are not giving out that address. We are not giving out that address. 
Really e f u k t dot com. E f u k t dot com. And it will show you the most fucked up <laughs> shit. This is gonna be the episode. E f u k t dot com. This is gonna be the episode with the most of Wilhelm screams in it. Oh fuck! <laughs> We're talking about porn and drug use, and you're gonna just run right, and skip so the shit just, out of this. Um, hit up. Uh, I don't think that's gonna make sense. I think mean, when the uh, one you listen to, like, I can't it together. None of them Facebook, make sense. That, that's the joy of it. He will send you the the link to get on eFuck at first. Or E F U K. Damn it! I gotta ah! That's all I'm hearing. That's all I'm hearing. I gotta get home. All right, so it seems it seems Pam and Jay are here. We're gonna restart the show with them, and we'll continue on. Why don't you put it on Facebook? It's like oh, it's, it's official. Well, yeah, then you can't flirt this with chicks on Facebook, Facebook anymore. Definitely exactly. Real. Once you put your relationship yeah. status oh, wait, as taken on, on Facebook, wait, you can't wait, then Facebook stalk women, and like pictures at three a.m. because more that's women creepy. Will message you because you have are in a relationship. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, you the will, yeah, are yeah, dirty. Yeah. Oh, you're dating somebody? Hi, yeah. how you you're doing? You're desirable by another woman. I like to compete. It's not good yeah. enough that I got you. I need to feel superior to someone else. Women, it's you guys are well, terrible. Well, if she sees something they in are. you. They are. They <laughs> are. That's why it's always been so hard for me to have women friends. Because that's all they want to do is compete. One of my best friends wanted to compete with everything. It's just like, why? Why can't we just be friends? Why can't we just hang out? Why does it have to be a competition? Because they don't want you guys to be friends. Because if you all got together, you'd take over. Yeah, we can't have that. <coughs> We gave you the right to vote, which was it's our first met. fucked up thing we could have ever done. Say that on air. Oh okay. shit! Yeah. Ready? They get really <laughs> mad at it, <laughs> and they still can vote. So we shouldn't have allowed them to own they property. They can also click like vote. on the show, even though I know they don't. God damn it, dude! We totally fucked that shit up. Forty yeah. acres. And I think we should have shaved <laughs> off the fronts of their feet so they could stand it's closer the to the kitchen button. sink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If we just shave those down. Seriously, like, why buy I think we should have fucking just poisoned you all in the first fucking place. place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They bound their feet so they got away. So they couldn't run away. Right there. So they couldn't run away. They can stand closer to the sink. They knew what was up. Hey. They can reach further back in the fridge. You love your children. Yeah, but they're not women yet. Yeah. Once they are, uh, it's all they're women. I mean, uh, yeah, then it's over. Then it's done. Yeah, it's like, oh, I well, don't know. I hope know you don't talk are. like this in front of them. <laughs> I make I'll horrible jokes. How am I going to indoctrinate them and guess and what? make sure that they my understand Ava, their place? My Ava totally, like, she will go, uh-uh, and she will, like. She calls uh, you yeah. Nefira, right? She will go, like, bloom. Well, yeah, shh, we're not supposed to talk about okay. that. Just make it fair. Well, welcome to Monkey Goo <laughs> and Other Delights. I am Trevor Heasley. With me is... Matt Bourgeois. And? Sean Larson. And today we are lucky enough to have, so far, my two favorite guests that we've had on this show. Pammy and Jay. Hey! Welcome hey. back, guys. Hey! I'll so, let you guess who my so. two favorite guests were, and I'm not going to say whether or not it's them. Well, we've only had <gasps> these two and, and one other and guest. Yeah, it's a, it's a and, 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 of course, Michelle, the, uh, the uh, Somali <laughs> pirate. <laughs> pirate who, she's either a Somali pirate or the princess of Nigeria. I'm not sure yet. Both. Mm. It's both. It's both. No. That's too big. Yeah, she's why, why, why can't she be both? As the president of Nigeria, she got it's really bored with all of the, uh, presidential all the glitz shit. and presidential shit and glam. <laughs> so she also moonlights as a Somali pirate. I call the whole or thing a conspiracy. Or she's it's a, a conspiracy, yeah. sir. Said, your girlfriend's a deep fake. CIA, <laughs> 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 stop actually, watching us. It's actually cool. an Asian. It's actually cool. a, I don't know, a I'm five a foot three Asian dude. <laughs> For the audience that doesn't know what deep fake is, uh, Google it. It's amazing. It's a way to take. Um, also, some, uh, blue damn. waffle. Do not Google blue waffle. No, don't do blue waffle. Uh, do not. Deep, it, the deep fakes so are kind of. I think Google they're. I think they're a little. I'm not. I'm is not that like the blue? I think they're weird. Have you guys had their blue waffle? I have not. I have Googled, Googled blue waffle. I've twittered my Yahoo, but I've never Googled myself. You, you twittered your Yahoo? Yahoo? Yeah. I Googled my. I usually don't tell yeah, people about when I Twitter my Yahoo, and I do it in the shower. They told. So the only reason why I did is I saw an article said don't Google yourself; you won't like what you see. So I did it. Did you know I play hockey in the minor league somewhere, and I spell my name the same way? Your name is a very um. Common name. That's Actually, really the common. way I spell it is uncommon. Okay. Well, ma'am, I'm, I'm really afraid to show you Blue Waffle, but... <laughs> Do not show her Blue Waffle. Her. Do not I show her. It's Blue up Waffle. there with two oh, girls in one you cup. probably oh, don't want to see... Oh, two girls God. in one cup either. Oh, I just... I just don't totally Google two girls in one cup. Look. Yeah. What's wrong with that one? That. 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 young man. That's gross. Are you sure? Yes. Are you 100% sure? Do you know what Blue Waffle is? 
No. Well, you're about to find out. Half of our audience right now is stop the show to Google okay, Blue so Waffle. Okay, so that's a Blue right? Waffle. Three point five people have that's stopped this show means. now. That's I'll wait for her to find right? out what it is. That's, that's a, a fucked up vagina. If that's a vagina, that's got like that's a penis with horrible geni- oh. that has genital warts. Oh. Very bad. Genital warts rule. Don't you remember in the apartment the up vagina. on the bathroom oh, wall? Up. We had pictures of genital warts on a male. On a female, and inside was a fucking jar of condoms. We said, if you're going to fucking have sex, wear a fucking condoms, because otherwise you're going to get that shit. Oh, that, that's, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I never saw that. The anus is nature's ever... condom. Nah. All right. So it's welcome to Monkey Goo and Other Delights. Nah. All right, so. It's going to be impossible to decipher. In it's a conspiracy yeah. theory that, that Michelle is... Michelle, I, I okay. think there's a conspiracy be, be yeah, behind Michelle. it. Oh yeah. Now that, 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 catfish. that brings us to oh, the uh, theme. That, fake. that brings us to the, the theme record, of tonight, that. which is conspiracy theories. Which Matt, I believe, was was your idea. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> I don't remember that. You wrong. sent me a text going tonight's theme: conspiracy theories. That was like four weeks ago. Oh, so and you, and I, I completely ignored it, and I was like, I have other plans tonight. But I, I knew I was going to get get back to it. Yeah, so I, I did a little right. bit of research tonight, and mm-hmm. I, I came up with a few, and I'm really hoping you have a few too. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got a couple. We don't need to talk about flat earth. 30 seconds fire. Yeah, flat earth is out the no, window. We don't, we don't bring that up. Well, no, I'm well, we're so <laughs> man on the moon, flat earth, that's done. That's We've done. already we been already there, done that. Yeah. Um have we gotten yeah. into 9-11 yet? <laughs> <laughs> so the oh, best fuck. conspiracy That's theory the I've been able to find oh, so far in out. in my, my my 12 hours of research. 12? There's a gentleman, a, a conspiracy theorist. His name is Steve Light, Lightfoot. His name is Steve Lightfoot. And he put out there that... Is his name Steve Lightfoot? I, I had to say that, and the audience is going to hear it because I, I'm going to cut it out. But I stuttered, so if you notice, some, sometimes sometimes when I stutter... I will repeat a sentence or I will say the word again because I know in the editing room I'm going to cut that stutter out. Mm. Th- there are some stutters I, I leave in. He's yeah. wearing himself a cue. Th- there are some stutters that, that I, I just want to let you know why why I do it. So like when I do it, you, you know, they don't look at me like I'm an alien. It's which is another one of my conspiracies that I might be an alien. You might be. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the, the you were in s- the, uh, that thing that starts with science and ends in tology. All right, we're not going to bring up that word right now. There's Dark a theory shit. about you being President an alien. Trump, Correct. Muhammad, jihad, boo. Well, then let me be the first to say <laughs> thank you for I'll being be my friend all these years. Well, I, did yeah. join, yeah. cool. I did join Scientology for, yeah. for two yeah. years, yeah. and yeah. while I was in that, a lot of pe- people called me an alien. At, at the train station, I was called alien. I, I was called so many names. But I'm out of that now, and, and th- that's not what this show is about. Okay. But I have a different reason for why I'm an alien. Oh, okay. So you can call me an alien because I was a Scientologist. Or you can call me an alien because I have red hair. Now, there, there's a conspiracy theory Ginger. that, that gingers, pee people suffering from gingivitis, are, are aliens. Now, we, well, so we are. Wait, wait, wait. So, what about like if they're not a ginger but they have gingivitis? Gingers have a, ginger? have a they're susceptibility have have alien to different diseases than most people, and pee, people with red hair have a higher threshold for pain. Now, based on these genetic differences That's from from people yep. with, without you describe red, me, red, red hair, a lot of people jump to the conclusion that redheads are aliens. So, uh, what's the basis for it? That's the basis. That's the whole basis. I'm a redhead. Because, I die because, because they don't have they don't ginger people are genetically yeah, different. Yeah, for twenty years, really. But, you but know? There, there, there's different things that like we're so we we can get. There's we have like. Weird little powers and different weaknesses than yeah, the, the you normal were, because person. Because you evolved Easy. on an island. So <laughs> gingers are in some way superheroes. Right stepchildren are the best they can. And our no. superheroes because, yeah, is exactly. catching diseases. Because you are a mutant. Stop or I'll get AIDS. You're a mutant. <laughs> you are a mutant. No, we are not a mutant. We actually <laughs> we get more than like... I got, I got it. <laughs> so like, like we, we get more. Like put down that TV or I'll get chlamydia on you. You know, it's like that. that is not a good superhero power to have. Not it's that. really it's not a good superpower. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like that. a superpower. Can I get bit by a radioactive spider and get that ability? Like, yeah. <laughs> just, so we not you randomly just give someone... Diseases? No, no. Oh it's, my god! It's not randomly giving someone. Well, no. Yeah. I mean, you gotta. You got my order wrong. You gotta oh, fuck them first. Getting diseases. 
They just get diseases. They don't. Right, right. We oh, well, we are more susceptible to attention. different so, kinds of like diseases. It sounds like you were having a different conversation. But there's I'm also just thinking some about giving people diseases. Like, Can you imagine how much money you would make for that? Just be like, yeah, you just caught whatever the fuck I want you to have. And whatever the fuck I want you to have. And but here's a bullet. On the flip side to don't that, to be, because our immune system is different, we don't get some of the diseases that you Not fuckers so, get. So, like, like, like you were saying, we, we have some... Uh, um, yeah. Mutations. Yeah. Everyone has a cold today. You are a mutant. I am. I, I am right, a What's next a on mutant. your... your do you want to hear one, one more mine or do you want to go, Matt? Huh? What uh, a conspiracy theory! Mm-hmm. I mean, do you want to go with another one, of mine, or you know, I, I don't want to take uh, it all? You know, like the, uh, that all the first ladies are she males. There's, there's <laughs> that one that all the first ladies are she males. I can see that? that in Michelle what's Obama, what's but, but not in Barbara that. Bush. Not, not in Barbara Bush. Not in Barbara. Looks like a woman. Barbara yeah, was a lady. Yeah, she was a lady, but she's a So was for what's his name in Priscilla. Oh no! Desert, the... Don't you dare even talk about that. Like that, that is like is, the best. That movie is. Ever. Oh, you cannot, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, oh Tu Wong Fu is... was showing up on my freaking. That was good. That was good. Oh, that was good. I was about no. to go like. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. There's only one quintessential drag queen movie, and it's Priscilla. Priscilla. Tu Wong Fu was an American I don't like American ripoff. They, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was, awesome. Awesome. It was a horrible American ripoff. It was a horrible no, American ripoff. No, it wasn't. That was It was, was, horrible. was great. It was, let's take three random stars that have oh. no plan to put them in dresses, and then put them on uh, in a movie. And they did it, and, and it's they did it well. And it's going to make a million, and it probably made a million. The only they one did I it really well. like was John Leguizamo. He did it well. He did awesome. Oh, look at Patrick Swayze was like the fucking, like, I was like, like behind the Patrick. Becky, he I was like, I was like, oh, oh you're are you kidding? Patrick for me. He was literally going like, Let's I'm know. gonna be like the '50s mom and whatever. Like it was so awesome, and that the way Mr. when Anderson. he just beat the shit out of that dude, fuck yeah! I was like, yeah, I'm a dude in a dress, and I fucked you nah. up. Nah. Oops, That's horrible, absolutely Oops. horrible. Oops. Like, come on. Like, I mean, like, it was awesome. It was a good movie. And I, I liked say, it. And I would say Patrick Swayze still to this day is like But it doesn't of, compare. Well, he's dead, but he was the biggest ranch hand. Okay, he okay, wait. lived in Lakeview Terrace. He My mom won, knew him. He that was a, she one thing. He did one thing only. One Lake thing Lake only. Gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. 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 he did. You yeah, do not get the ping pong dance. He did it. In that one. He did it, To Wong Fu, you don't get the ping pong dance. You can't take the guy from Roadhouse, which is like one of the like manliest fucking movies ever made. Roadhouse. Put, put him in a dress and, and expect me to believe it. I, I'm sorry. It, nope. It was, that's, it was hard. It was, it was hard. Made fun but it was good. Of. It was good. He, he took the role. He took the role to go. No, 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 what it is. Different. Hell yeah. That's this, the whole joke. You're being made, made, you're being well, made well, fun well, of. I've been watching a lot of like. You're being made fun of. I kept waiting for him to kick the shit out of someone. And shows like that. And I've seen like the different styles of them. And I'm just going. This is Patrick fucking Swayze. Wow. Never. Like. Best ghost ever. You know. Right. Well, the Brule brothers have their freaking thing of Dragula, mm, and I'm yes. like, and I, I was like, what the hell, Brule yeah. yeah. brothers? I can't stop. I just clicked on it, and I'm like, like why am I looking at this? Why am I just finding this out? Why am I looking at this? I'm like, yes. no, this is weird. Like the makeup right Matt in front has of the a, board has was a story. really funny. Oh. Matt, Matt. All right, yeah, you, you said you were gonna. I'm gonna edit yeah, this. So I'm trying to come up with one. I can't think. All right, one. All right, so Cyrus Hawk, please. All right, so we got another one. Totally forgot our. Once again. We totally forgot what we were going to talk Silence. about. Silence. Conspiracy. We that's, should have a board well, right here. That's why I do this and like I, I like I try to bring. If I, I'm Maybe not being rude rap. when when I when I do that, I'm trying not to be rude. But <laughs> oh god! Like sometimes I, I, I like have conspiracy to. Conspiracy okay. style. So Steve Steve Light Lightfoot, Steve okay. Lightfoot Rainbow says, one. Mark David Chapman did not kill John Lennon. Want to know who did? Alf, yep. Stephen King, 1980s. Again, he, he has Puppets. been a, he Alien. has been been Alf. able to place him there, and they look very he was similar. He coroner. Now, whether you believe it or not, I mean, I don't believe it. I, I don't believe Stephen what? King killed well, John no, Lennon. It's a parallel but universe. he also did write a book about an assassination, and, and it was very detailed on, like, it was kind of like O.J.'s If writer. I Would Have was Killed the Call. But he's a writer. His? I, he comes well, up it was shit. about JFK. I believe that he did it. You know what? I'm going to say not Stephen, not Stephen not. King killed him. Why not? Stephen King no, killed him. No, no, no. I don't think All so. Right. Oh, I just had one and I forgot it. What was it? 
Hold on. Is Marilyn there... Monroe and John F. Kennedy. There is like that's a weird thing. That's not a conspiracy. That's just an well, affair. Well, because that of that. Yeah, that's what that's like. Everyone knows that shit. That's history. The president got to fuck Marilyn Monroe. The president got to eliminate his mistress. Wait, wait, wait. How are you aliens? When do we get aliens? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, well, here was something I read about. The alien thing was John F. Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe supposedly... They were all together because John F. Kennedy wanted to bang an alien, and supposedly Marilyn Monroe That's was an alien. Specific. Did you hear this from a homeless guy? Oh, I've I never just read heard Facebook that. a bunch. And <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, are you kidding thing. me? The gotta, gotta so you're going to give up your hot no. wife to go bang Marilyn... Well, never mind. I'm going to stop right there because that, that was a horrible sentence. Jackie O was hot. Sometimes these guys yeah. cheat on their wives with these women that were like, really, your wife is so much hotter. So Marilyn Monroe technically is an alien, and John F. Kennedy was banging her because he wanted to bang an alien, and Area 51... So he even wanted though, to, like, knowledgeable. Not, he didn't want yeah. to just... Okay. Right, I'm she you guys, but she I'm was go true on this one. I she think, was literally an alien who landed definitely. in Area 51, I could see and he it was happening. banging it, and they're all like, no. "What the fuck?" Who wouldn't? I mean, really, gentlemen, an alien female came down and said, "I will have sex with any and all, any and all of you." Especially Marilyn Monroe. Who would be sitting that out? Yeah. I'd be like, if you sit that yeah. out, fool, I'm fucking joining. Yeah, but we can. What if she's like an eight penis succubus? That might be a different All story. I gotta look at is... Did she look like Marilyn Monroe? I guess so. To then mind I'm mind okay with it. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, was just, I was just posing the thought. You should do whatever you want to um, my bus. Well, everybody all else I is, All I gotta say is this. I can have sex with an alien all I want. Our DNA does not freaking matter. Yeah, no kidding. And I can just go all day long and be happy and be like, yep. There's the not a baby two, happening, yeah. unless, of course, then my brain's going to start thinking, oh, crap, I did this, like, eight you times still in the hotel possibly. Room. This is not a good idea. Oh, they're collecting the DNA. Oh, crap, I'm going to have kids on another planet. Oh, fuck, conspiracy theory. I, you, I wouldn't see why you couldn't still possibly get pregnant. Your, your body would just kill it because it'd be Can like Dominic having... It'd be like have having... Yeah. Like, baby? No. Why? Well, yeah. there'd be a bunch of Scottish men with half-sheet kids. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Bad. I don't know. <laughs> hey, if you get them to if you get them to the edge, they push back. Some people actually believe. Some people believe <laughs> that we are living right now in the 18th century. 18th century, so, so that'd be 1700s. Because the years 1600 through 1900 never happened that any artifact anything from that era is either is faked so or specific. forged how do the people come up with this shit wait these are people who are really bored or really stoned going do. i have right. an idea <laughs> <laughs> they do have better weed than we do <laughs> you, you, i want to smoke their shit one. the internet is a fucking rabbit hole dude like, you know, like, like, oh stop. no it is it is, it is. it's absolute rabbit you hole you can convince yourself a bunch of weird shit dude like prepping I gotta so admit. It to me one time. I went. Uh, I watched an episode of Doomsday Preppers and wanted to look on the internet about shit. And by no, the end, by the end, I was looking into getting a thingy to make my own biofuel. Oh God! He goes down the rabbit hole. He goes straight down the rabbit hole. Oh my! Babe, babe, babe. That's like, dude, shut up. I'm like, what the hell did you watch? He's all, oh, I watched this show, and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm like, dude, shut the hell up. Go away. This is how this episode came came to be. I, I knew Jay and Jay and Pam were gonna be here, and like I knew they were gonna be fucking amazing. And I knew we were supposed to do a conspiracy show because that was Matt's idea. So early this morning, I woke up and I went, "Fuck! I have no idea what I'm gonna do." So I googled stupid conspiracy theories, <laughs> and I had a field day, man. <laughs> Oh, dude, I have. wrote down like the eight <laughs> best ones that I found. Stephen King killed John Lennon. That's a Are you one, fucking man. kidding like, me? How many times <laughs> did you come? Too late to do all okay. I'm I, sorry. I laugh like so hard on, on on a lot of these, and there's there's not a lot of details on these. They're really like I, I I tried googling them specifically, and like <laughs> Google laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use Google speakers so you could hear it in stereo? No, I understand it because so, uh, usually you porn laughs at me when I do searches. So I get it. Jim Morrison, 
Oh, <gasps> Frank and Zappa. Uh -oh. Okay. Crosby right. and Stills. Huh. No right. Nash and Young Meyer. They are what yeah, yeah. are known as hippie operatives. Oh. Hippie operatives. Hippie operatives. They were there to track down Counter hippies and basically talk to them. They were there to and do um, drugs. They were there to ruin the uh, the uh, uh, the American youth. There, there's also another conspiracy which, which is linked to to music and, and ruining the American youth. The Beatles, the right wing Republicans. The Beatles are actually <laughs> MI5 agents. I can believe who, that. Who, who were sent to America was assassinated. in preparation he was, he was removed from the service. In preparation no, for, for war. Yeah. Now their plan was this get the Beatles ingrained into American society. Get the children to love the Beatles. Have the Beatles say the Beatles. drugs are good. Now we they have are dumbed They're down right. America. They were right. Any, right. any, oh any like, 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 They're right around brainwashed. Any military re recruitment <laughs> would be like yeah. drug addicts and, and, and basically stoners and, and dumbasses. And England was, was going to conquer bad, bad America <laughs> through the Beatles. Unfortunately, oh, no the, so salty. the uh, plan never <laughs> went to yeah, fruition, no, but that talk. is another one of these bullshit. They got rich, they got rich in a band. Right, we, we just talk a bunch. Yeah, you know what? Do. Let's do this. Uh, let's go with the conspiracy theories that are fun. What are the fun ones? That's right. what this show that's is about. Like, I don't want to get fun. too serious yeah. with this bullshit. I, They're stupid all conspiracy fun. theories all is what I, about, I, I like, Google. The Beatles and all this. Hold on, but I got stupid one. conspiracy so theories is what I bring to the like, table. In essence, in a way, with some of these theories, people come up with so much fun shit. Like they get so many factual things that they think are factual, and I love it. Oh, but when you listen to it, it's like. Holy crap. Some of the some maybe, of the guys that don't maybe they might some of the be guys, something, but they will not be. The 911ers are bad. Some oh god, bad. the 911 like, like, what, what, what people. Is, what is no, the, the, the dumbest one here. window they exploited? What is the dumbest 911 conspiracy theory you have heard, Jason? Dumbest? They're actually kind of interesting. Or um, or the uh, best one, the one that made you go, "Holy shit, that's awesome." My favorite one is the uh, the debate over the uh, steel. The steel um, melting, the that steel was a good melting. one. The whole steel melts at this temperature, steel melts at this temperature, jet fuel burns at this. And they're like, yeah, jet fuel does burn at this. Hey, look, I'm burning. He's like, look, I'm not here for any of the 9-11 thing at all. I'm just going to show you what temperature steel burns at. And also, what temperature it bends at. A conspiracy so, uh, theory is not a like, conspiracy look, theory if so you can on, prove it on. by science. Yeah, and he's like, so hold on. The girders, this steel right here bends. And this steel is only this big. It bends at jet fuel. I'm, I've got it turned up to the torch turned up to jet fuel. This steel bends at jet fuel temperatures. All right, now I'm going to turn. Uh, now imagine jet fuel temperatures blasting out onto girders with buildings on top of themselves. They're going to cave. Mm -hmm. So the, it's not debunked, but it's not that the whole ooh, the jet fuel thing's proof. Like I've it was scientifically tested and scientifically fucking tested. They there's scientifically that, proved uh, it. There's one, the engineers knew this off the bat. One, like, yeah, that's oh, no, here's well, a good one for you on the 9/11 one. Video. Supposedly, Shanksville God. wasn't a a, a, a crew a, a, a plane full of fucking America getting them dark terrorists. That was shot down. But the story was bent so that we can believe, oh my god, look, it was Americans acting like patriotic flag-wearing Americans when really they were shot down by their own Air Force. Because it would scare the shit out of you to know that your own Air Force could put you down at one time. Yep. If, there's a, if there's a suspected bomber on your plane. There's another theory that mm -hmm. the uh, planes were true. completely no, empty. Not. Uh, that yeah. ev everybody well, involved, everybody on one of those planes were made right up, for by, made up by the government. And, and, into and, and Well, it's yeah. not that far-fetched because Kennedy attempted to to wrong Cuba so that we could invade. And one of them was a plan was a plane was going to take off from one location and another plane with nobody in it was going to take off right behind it. And it was going to blow itself up over Cuba and say, oh, they shot it down with a SAM or, or you know, shot it down, whatever 
You're and also talking them. about a guy who bought a shitload of Cuban cigars. Again, we're not <laughs> saying that. <laughs> well, let's be honest. Hey, I want a Cuban so cigar. I've heard they were no. hand rolled yeah, by virgin. I mean, he bought a shitload of know. Cuban cigars before that shit went down. I just want to make let's it very, honest, very, man. very clear to us and the audience that we don't actually. Well, maybe we do believe these, but we don't actually believe these theories. These are theories that, that we just find interesting, and we're throwing them out. I there. am pretty sure oh, all like, of them. If are you look at a building, true. like a building, if you think about it, buildings. When they're erected, you're talking about a really tallest building. Really hard. Everything is up there, right? It well, supports like, the exact same weight it is. Like a young man if in front you of a hit it, If you hit it and you lose weight, how did the bottom fall? No, I'm not saying conspiracy theory. Because a building fell because on the building it. building fell on the bottom. And that's and a that lot of weight. Wait, exactly. So, yeah, I'm being devil's advocate okay, and everything. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what I'm trying to say. So you're saying. It's because I'm trying to like get everybody in the situation. When you hit Good. something, it's all – it's a straight building. Inside. When you build it, it's straight up. So when you hit Not it – straight down. It's straight up. It That's how it is functioned. It is made to be this way. It's an up. Yeah. Right? And it will hold Can't weight all the way up. So if you hit it with something that is more than the weight and you give it a rock in motion – your rocking motion is going to travel all and the way all the, down the building. the inertia of those items creating more stress. All the, the way down the building. E equals MC squared. These things, okay. as they gain okay. speed, gain mass, they break yeah. through shit. It's going to create <laughs> like, ripples throughout yeah. all the concrete of yeah. that building. So what happens is the first one hit, it created a ripple. Yet it, it seemed it only did damage up here at the top. The thing is, you hit it again. Now, mind you, when you hit it again... You added in something that pretty much was a foreign object that was very heavy with a lot of flame. And people can go, oh, jet fuel, this and that. You have no idea what happened. The There's jet fuel, stress. like any of that flame, magic. you got to remember in a building, like, they have water, with that engineering they on, have on electrical wires, they it. have like, all this shit. You boiling water could simply just hit the water boiler at the bottom to go <laughs> blink and fuck it up, which would cause something, which right. is already right. sent the next down, one. sent down. The building itself is already sent down a lot about. of fucked up shit. It's already created it's cracks up. in all of it. So the water, even with that, just the water boiler at the bottom goes blink. Are you kidding me? You've already fractured so much of that building that, yes, the water boiler going blink, done. Your building is not going to stand. I will tell you, and, like, I, I know I Googled stupid conspiracy theories, <laughs> but there is one that, that, I, that I uncovered that makes a lot of sense to me, and and I really believe this one. This it's one like, is an amazing one. All right, so you know how Adolf Hitler was supposedly into the occult and aliens? Yeah, okay. And all, right. all right, so the theory is this. He made contact with aliens. Adolf Hitler, Germany, made contact with he aliens. Is. He is... He made contact. He made friends with them. Instead of giving him, like, super weapons and all this stuff, the aliens listened to him, appreciated what he, what he had to, to say, and have adopted some of his ideas. So what they, they did is they, they knew he was going to die. They, they knew that the rest of the world was going to win. So they abducted Hitler, and Hitler right now is living on a secret base okay. on the moon. Oh, now, I heard that one. He is living on the moon. Iron Sky. This is a, don't two, watch Netflix. Made, this is a theory I'm getting behind. This theory alone. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they made two stupid movies on this for this premise alone. They're on yeah. Netflix. Is... There's movies about this. Oh. Two of them. Yeah. Iron two Sky. Of them. Iron Sky. <laughs> yeah. I just found out about this like two hours not ago. Too long ago. Yeah, I I watched see, it the other I saw night. The first, I saw the second one. I started watching the second oh, one. Oh, the first one is even worse. Oh God. Please don't I'm not, me, I, you know, uh, I can't really tell it. you. Both movies are fucking horrible. Oh, my God, damn it. They're, and I've seen them both. They're going to capture me. I'm going to watch them in the middle of the night. I'm going to be like, seriously? Fuck, dude. Where would you want to be? In the darkness or in the light? I want my shit. If I was Hitler, I'd be on the face of the moon with this huge-ass palace 
with a big middle finger looking at the Earth. So every time anybody ever looked at the moon, they'd see a giant middle finger. And I'd just be laughing, yeah, good luck coming up but here, But you bitch. don't think if <laughs> aliens abducted him and are honoring him and or possibly following him, it's a much take bigger over the world. Well, no, it's a much bigger He's got thing. Bigger Why would you want to take over this place? Adolf Hitler this place has, is shit. has Adolf yeah, Hitler yeah. has poisoned basically the galaxy. Now, the galaxy, according to this theory, is adopting some of his ideas. So, it's like in Amber some said, ways, it's like, it's Adolf Hitler, to, according to this theory, who wants to live, is like Thanos. There are mass genocides happening throughout the galaxy because the aliens abducted him. He spoke and he inspired them. Now, this, this, this guy, like no matter what you say about him, he was a great public speaker. He knew how to capture an audience. True, very true. That was his power. All his ideas were fucked up. And but, he needs a better but harbor, but... He had a way of convincing yeah. people. Fucking now imagine Adolf Hitler. <laughs> the fucking beard is and the in the fucking man bun. Imagine Adolf okay. Hitler and the fucking Emperor from Star Wars having a conversation, oh. and the Emperor's like, "You are right, Adolf. You know, <laughs> look into the dark side, Adolf. Strike out in anger." A Adolf would cut off a motherfucker's head. Right. Adolf would would be like like the dream Luke Skywalker for the Emperor Palpatine. All I gotta say is, imagine if Adolf is now Darth Vader somewhere. Oh, my my beautiful thing was Thanos. Thanos is not a villain. Everyone goes. He was the villain. hero. He, he was the just hero of goes, the story. Look what's happened. You were fucking up your shit. You were messing your shit up. And he goes, and look, up. And done. Up your fucking up. And he goes, done. The reason it's and where does he land? He lands in a smooth ass spot, in the middle of nowhere, just in this little countryside, and he's just like. Yeah, I destroyed the gems. I did what I wanted to do. I'm just chilling. He goes, I want to make sure the job. galaxy was fine. He was done. He was done. Yeah, he goes, I saw what was movie. going on. I saw how bad it was. And I'm going to be the evil one. Everyone's going to hate me. But in the long run, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to die. I'm not going to use anything to keep myself alive. I am just going to be like, boom. And every planet will still be okay because I cut it out. The Thanos and thing? everybody goes. Oh, does it, it say the same thing I said, right? Like, we haven't heard what you said. Everybody yet, okay. goes. You know what? It takes them a couple years, and they go, "Fuck." I mean, right now, what we're looking at right here, we're covered in cement in a lot of places. Well, dude, we you fucked could... this shit up. I mean, if someone literally came down and goes, "Bink," fifty percent of us are gone. You know how fast this planet could grow I right will, now? I will. But we don't do it. We have so many people that we don't even look at it. We have, It's ridiculous. I will tell you why I completely agree with Thanos. So Thanos went to Gamora's planet, which was polluted. Children were starving. Yeah. He, he killed half the population. And he gave it a chance. Years yeah. later, when Gamora actually confronted him on it, he sat down and he explained to her the truth that only he knew. That the children now on her planet would go to sleep with full bellies. Breathing fresh air. Mm -hmm. And that the planet was flourishing. Okay. So Damn. Yeah. The planet was headed for destruction. He took action. Yeah. And, and the planet up. flourished. So... He's like a scientist who did a test. A bunch of research. And, and he, did, like, he did this shit. test on a lot of planets, which was That's why a, a lot of the heroes wanted him dead. Now, all he had to do was truck. get six things and snap his fingers, and his job was done. He, he wasn't like, this wasn't an idea so that he was he like, like I don't on. know if this will work. Right, okay. He tested it, and it worked. When that one line, when when Gamora confronted him and and she she said, you know, you you can't do this, you know, it, it's not gonna work the way you think. It, it's not gonna work. And and and, and, and he said, I am the only one who knows that it will work. Like imagine if you could save everybody, but people hated you because of it, and you're like, I am the only one that knows for sure. Save I have, everyone. I have yep. tested You'll kill it. Half of us, I have save spent, everyone else. I, I have spent <laughs> half of my life, life running tests, and it works 
every time. Every time. The Even yeah. like, like his own planet suffered and died because of overpopulation mm -hmm. and pollution. So he had an idea and he tested it like a good scientist should. Mm -hmm. I think Thanos was the actual hero of the, the, the Avengers. Avengers the evil it was like trying to stop him from. It was gave him the right to. to to do those but tests they on the aliens. All back. It was well, an interesting story about how well, nine. Gave him the right, but he saved their species. It took nineteen During movies. The right, he was right in the end. Nine, he he should have come up and said, "Hey, look, this is what's happening." It Did took. He? What was that? I don't remember that part. That doesn't work. Wait, 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 what? Every day. Hey, by the way, I'm going to kill you. Every day. Don't tell people. You just do it. Well, they're not going to be able to stop you. They're going to go through that fight scene and stuff like that. Don't tell them about it. You have to tell them. Like, obviously, duh. You guys, your children are right. You're fucking the police. Don't tell them. Let everybody go to. Turn everybody into You guys want to hear something? Let's go into this. We say. They didn't seem to feel pain. Don't fucking overfish your seas. Don't fucking kill whales. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know what motherfuckers do? They look at their bottom line of pockets. Mm -hmm. And yeah. unfortunately, humans mm -hmm. are way too fucking greedy and mm -hmm. bullshit that it's like, finally, we're getting some shit back. But at the same time, it's like we have there used to be spores of fucking anchovies who used to just throw their semen everywhere. No. Like, the like I do. Yeah. All oh, over the West like Coast. I mean, <laughs> now, <laughs> shell, a shell station. Hold on. Yeah. Hold I mean, on. About this was, with the last pictures of it, the it literally the mirror, covered it up. <laughs> but the thing was, everything ate it all and it replenished itself and it was all good. All the plants, all the sea animals, Everything was just like, yes, All this happens. Enemies. And they even ate the fucking, like, anchovies, the sardines. They ate it all. But the thing is, now they're looking at the pictures of literally 20 years ago where it was covered. Our Pacific coast was literally covered. People were swimming in this and didn't even know it. But what it fed was everything. And now when they look at it, they go... It's little spurts. And a lot of these animals are going, where the fuck is, is my nutrient? Food. Where the fuck is my life? They're trying to find something else. They don't know it. They've been years in evolution to try and find something, and they're not finding it. They're going elsewhere, and they're not finding it. It's fucking up everything. We got carp sitting in a fucking goddamn Mississippi's rivers and shit. Those weren't here. We don't need oh, those. Oh, those carp. Oh, those and they're fucking everything up. About? Yeah. Why? Species. Gay. The Guess base, what, kids? Base, yeah. Humans don't know how to understand it. We have countries we who are trying to create there. stuff a little bit. and make, like, even their buildings into jungles and doing all this fun shit. But you're so small. Like, I wish we could all just go, Guess what? Fuck it. Like, Thanos, come on. Cap half well, of us I do, off. I do another Fuck thing. It. I do another thing. I'd I, I got it. another point on Thanos. I would hate it, but I'd Can understand. I, here's my take on Thanos. Is number one, um, why why half? Half. Think about it this way: half of the world's population on Earth uh, ballooned. We were less than. Uh, we were about 500 million. And you want to kill more? Hold on. All of a sudden we yes. All yeah. of a sudden we it ballooned. It makes sense. Yeah. All of a sudden, Unfortunately. from 500 to so like, snap less, your fingers, go back to in Adam less and Steve. Than go on. Guys, guys, please. In less than 150 years, the earth, the population on Earth ballooned from 500 million, give or take. Sorry, it's about 200 years. 500 million to 7.5 billion. Do you really think killing half of us is going to do anything? No, we're just going to repopulate just as quick, about 50 years. D d maybe d depending on how bad that affects, you know, commerce fuck. and everything. Yeah, maybe the jobs open up though, and it makes it if faster. Yeah. It makes our it makes our uh, our propagation faster. What I would have done if I were Thanos, because I could change the fabric of absolutely anything I wanted to, because when we've already established that within the world, of the Avengers, the the different things you can use the uh, the reality stone, the time stone, you can literally manipulate all reality, especially once you have the full gauntlet, right? Okay, so maybe just make the brains of every sentient creature in the universe understand how to live and cooperate and. Uh, just start there and then go all right snap done their brains get that and then number two um let's see uh take away i can take away anything so you're take away god. all of yeah play god take away all of the fucking uh snap your fingers the buildings of all of everything and then go ahead and go zoop, 
you're back to building. You're back to like nature. That's it. Starting over. You're you're in nature. Well, you're cool. Here's natural buildings. But you're just... Re- Put the information in their heads. You're perpetuating the same thing, though. Put them back. Put us back to literally Stone Age. We're going to redo it anyways. No, no, no. Right. Don't put it back to Stone Age. Just put it back to everything we know now. We just have to build it again. Be like, look, yeah, green, we're green energy. We green know how to have do everybody's it. brain go green energy. And by the way, here's a bunch of... But yeah, true. Back. It's all about the green now. Yeah, like, look, every you guys know what to do. You know how to do it. You know what the, the, I've, I've changed the fabric of everything in one snap. Yeah, but but we're assuming that every planet out there is like Earth. You know, what if yeah. it's just no, like, like, like yeah, yeah, you I are. Think that's yeah, you system. absolutely are. Well, we're assuming that that we're assuming that it's look, it's possible so that, uh, snap this that there's planet? silicone things that breathe methane on other planets. But well, you got to think outside the box when it comes to life. It, it could it could adapt. It's what is I mean, it's molecules and atoms aligning to create conscious little things or however the fuck we define actually, it. Actually, yeah. let's, let's think about this. Actually, let's go down the line. Let's think about a balance. And the balance I understand is, let's think about this. If he has all those stones and he literally knows everything that is going on everywhere that is happening, why did he snap his fingers? Because he knew every planet had that issue. It was even the planets that were like, oh, we're happy, we're great, we're doing fucking awesome. Maybe he Hit even knew. A broad stroke. Maybe he even fucking knew. He goes. Even you guys will fuck up. He's like, let's do it and let's make it right. The thing is, people, like, people, I mean, even if they're fucking aliens watching us right now, I'd just be like, look, everything matters where you are right now. You are sitting here. This is your home. This is where you live. Do you want trash on your floor? Do you want to fuck this shit up? Do you want it covered in fucking grossness? Or do you want it to be like the most awesome thing you can go and be like, hey kids, guess what? You know what tomorrow is? Another day we get to fucking chill. You know what your grandkids get to say? Another day we get to chill. If everything can work, bam! But if we just fuck it up, what's going to happen? We're going to destroy it. We're all going to die. And no one's going to care. We're going to be a Mars. Dried up, disgusting, and done. I guess on that note, um, always. I'm happy. Always leave them. Wanting more. More. <laughs>